students we have already done this chapter that is special products so today's video is going to be about the chapter factorization where we will study about how can we find the hcf of different terms and how can we factorize the given expressions as well as the different terms so let's get started now as you can see the first statement that is find the hcf now what does it mean hcf hcf means highest common factor so we have to find the highest common factor from this given statement now you can see that two terms have given to us that is 8x square y comma 12xy square so what we will do we will write here first term that is 8x square y and we will write its factors and the factor of 8 are 2 multiplied 2 multiplied 2 and x square means we have to write x two times so we will write here multiply x into x and last is multiply by y next is 12 x y square now factors for 12 are 2 into 2 into 3 and x is there so we will write here multiply x and y square means we have to multiply y twice so we will write here multiply by y into y now what we need to do we have to find the hcf of 8x square y and 12xy square now students as you can see that firstly 2 2 and 2 these all are the factors of 8 and similarly we have the factors of 12 that is 2 multiply 2 multiply by 3 right now we will see that which are the factors which are common in both right as you can see here this 2 and this 2 these both are common right so we will write this 2 once only over here right now we will move further again 2 is here and again 2 is here these are again the factors of both the terms so we will write here again multiply by 2 right now next is 2 is here but 2 is not present here similarly 3 is here but 3 is not the factor of 8 so we will leave both of them next we will move to the variables we will circle x and here also we will circle x these are common in both so we will write here multiply by x next is x is present here but y is here right so x is a factor of 8 now here but x square but y is not the factor of 8x square y right so we will not write over there because both these are not common so y is present here as well as over here so both these are common so we will write here y now what we have to do we have to multiply them 2 multiply 2 that is 4 multiply by x into y that will be xy so this is the hcf of these given terms right so we have answer as 4xy which is the hcf of 8x square y and 12xy square is it clear now move to the next example again we have a question that is find the hcf now we are given with three terms that is 4a comma 6a square comma 8a cube right now again we will write here the first term that is 4a second term that is 6a square third term that is 8a Q. Now, the factors for 4a, the factors for 4 will be 2 into 2 multiply by a. Factors for 6 are 2 into 3 and a square means we have to multiply a twice that is a into a and factors for 8a cube will be 2 into 2 into 2 into a into a into a, right? Now, students, what we will do, we have to see that what is common in all three of them right so firstly you can see that here 2 is present we will circle it now next 2 is present here again 2 is present now we have to see that the factors which are common in all these three terms right so 2 is coming in all so we will write here hcf of all these terms as 2 over here now next we will move here 2 is here but not present here but again here but what we have uh, said in the beginning that 
the factor should be common in all three of them so 2 is present in 4a term as well as the factor of 8a cube but 2 is not present over here so we will not write over there 2 similarly we will not write here 3 clear next one is variable so here a is there so we will circle it clear next a is again here we will circle it and next one is again a so again we will circle it now a is coming in all three of them so we will write here multiply by a right next you can see that a is not present over there no other variable is present there rest of the variables are there in the second term as well as the third term so we will not write any of these variable again so we have the hcf of 4a comma 6a square and 8a cube is equals to 2 multiplied by a that is equals to 2a so we got the answer of hcf of all these three terms right now move to the next question that is factorize so here you can see that student the statement as we have to factorize 9x square plus 12xy so this is an expression given to us in which two terms are there right so we have to factorize it so now how can we factorize it again uh, we have to find the factors of all these terms so firstly we will write the factors of 9x square so these are the factors of 9x square so uh, factors for 9 will be 3 into 3 right and the factors for x square will be x into x plus factors for 12 will be 2 multiply 2 multiply 3 and x y means multiply by x into y now what we have to do we have to choose the common one from both of them so here you can see that 3 is here so we will circle it right clear so similarly 3 is present here so we will circle it clear now because this is common so we will write over here 3 next 3 is present here but 3 is not present here so we can't write it as common next we will move to the variable right so here you can see that x is present here so we will circle it right and here again x is there so we will circle it clear so because this is common again we will write it over here with 3 clear now we will move further x is present here but again x is not present here so we can't write x as well as y because both these are not present in both the terms right now what we will do because these are common so we are writing it here and what is left whatever is left we will write them in a bracket so 3x we have written which is common and inside the bracket whatever is left out we will write here that is 3 into x that will be 3x plus will remain plus 2 into 2 that is 4 and y right so we have 3x bracket 3x plus 4y as the answer for that question right so in the same way we can do couple of examples so now let's move to the another example here again we have to factorize the given expression in which the terms are 2x squared plus 4xy minus 6xy squared. So here in this expression we are given with 3 terms right. So again for factorization we have to find the factors for all these terms and we, then we have to choose the common one out of them. So factors for 2x squared will be 2 multiplied by x into x plus factors for 4xy will be 2 into 2 into x into y minus will remain minus factors for 6xy square will be 2 into 3 into x into y into y right now what we have to do we have to choose the common one from all of these so first of all we will circle it 2 because it is present over here right next again 2 is here so we will circle it and 2 is also present here again we will circle it clear so here we have 2 as common so we will write over here 2 next we will move to x x is present again we will circle it here also x is present circle it and again it is present here so that means x is common in all so we will write it with 2 right so 2x is common in all these terms 
Now, we don't have anything else, any variable or any number which is common in all. So, we are left with only 2x. So, the terms which are left out. So, we will write them, we will put them in a bracket. So, whatever is left, we will put them in a bracket that is x, right? Plus will remain plus, 2 into y will be 2y, minus will remain minus, 3 into y into y will be 3y squared. So, this is the answer for this given question. Clear students? So, now we will move to the next question. So, the next example we have in which again we have to do the factorization. Now, the statement is in the form of the fraction. So, how can we solve it? With the same method. So, let's see how can we solve this question. 2 upon 3x squared plus 4 upon 9xy minus 8 upon 9xyz. So, what we will do, we will write the factors of all these terms. So, factor of 2 will be 2 only. Factors of x squared means x multiplied by x and upon 3 will become, right? Next one is plus factors for 4 will be 2 into 2. Down factors for 9 will be 3 into 3. Multiply by x into y, right? Next is minus. Factors for 8 will be 2 into 2 into 2. Factors for 9 will be 3 into 3. Multiply by x into y into z. Now we have to choose the common factors from the numerator as well as the denominator, right? Numerator, here 2 is there, here 2 is there, here 2 is there. So we can circle them because 2 is common in all. Clear? So, we will circle them. Next, what we will do? Because we have circled it, so we will write over here 2. Next one is x. x is common. x is common here and x is common. x is present in all these three. So, we will write x along with 2. Right? So, it will be 2x. Now, we will come down. Because 3 is present here, so we will circle it. Now, again 3 is present here, we will circle it. And here also 3 is present, so circle it. Is it clear? So, now what we will do, because this is common in all, so we will write here 2x upon 3. Now, nothing else is common in all these 3 terms. So, what we will do, whatever is left, so we will put them in a bracket. Like this, here in this we got x, so we will write over here, x plus 2 upon 3, y, minus will remain minus, 2 into 2 will be 4 upon 3, y, z, right? So the answer for this question will be 2x upon 3, bracket, x plus 2 upon 3, y, minus 4 upon 3, y, z, alright? So students, these examples are very easy. Now, I hope all of you are able to do the related homework that we have sent you in your SNAP homework. Thank you.